Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshek. Today is uh, Tuesday, April 21st. This is our regular NBA playoffs uh, preview show that we've been doing with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Troy West told us that he thought he had a good read on these lines, and last night he delivered again with a winner on the Bulls. He's pretty much uh, coming close to killing it in the playoffs this year. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Thanks so much for being back with us. Yeah, thanks, Peter. I appreciate it. Yeah, I believe we're 4-1 and one on your videos and 6-2 and two at the website for, in terms of the NBA playoffs. And, our series best looking good. It's been a great run here, Pete. I hope we can continue with you guys. Yeah, that's what professional handicappers do. You put your neck out on the line, and you're absolutely coming through. we got three games uh, tonight, three game twos. You think you have a good read on these games, Troy? I've got one official pick for you guys, but I think I can give you guys some solid leans on all three. Absolutely. All right, well, let's start with the first one. Cleveland minus 11 uh, at home against Boston. You know, uh, Cleveland won the first one relatively easily by 13 points. My guess is that uh, we're going to see roughly the same thing here. Maybe I'd lean towards the under in this one, but, uh, you know, kind of a big spread. The back door is wide open. Uh, for me, I think it'd be a pass, but, uh, but lean towards the under. Uh, or, or, you know, I have heard that, that double-digit underdogs in game twos of, um, of these series are, uh, you know, tend to be good bets. We saw that with New Orleans uh, against Golden State last night. So maybe Boston is a good bet. What do you have to say about uh, Boston-Cleveland? Yeah, you know, this is an interesting one, and it does remind me very much of – uh, Pelicans Golden State game. I do, however, believe Cleveland will win this game right around that 13 to 15 margin, much yeah. like they did in game one. You know, if you heard several of the things LeBron said, this is a team that, that's going to make a lot of adjustments, Pete. And you got to remember, yes, I do know that a lot of these Boston guys got their first playoff experience. And, but if you look at guys like Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, these guys were finally able to get the nerves wiped away. They both had phenomenal game ones. Boston really played a good, solid game one beat and still lost by 13 points. Several of those guys shot way above their means and yet still lost by 13 points. So I believe this is going to be an interesting game, very similar to game one where it yeah. could be tight for a while. But I think in the end, Cleveland does prevail. I think they do win this game right around that 13 to 15 point margin. I expect a bigger game from LeBron and I expect Kevin Love to be a little bit more relaxed than another big, big game from Kyrie Irving. So that'd be your lean, but you wouldn't go with an official pick uh, on, on this one? No, I wouldn't go official only because, like you said, that potential backdoor. Yeah. I mean, it really, uh, you know, if you looked at that game closely, a rimmed out land cost Boston the cover in game one, but uh, it could be a similar situation, not an official pick on this one. All right, and then Washington at Toronto. You know, Paul Pierce was uh, was talking some trash about Toronto uh, before the series started, and uh, and Washington went in and did steal game one on the road in overtime. Now they are a four-and-a-half or five-point road underdog. Maybe uh, we can expect this one to go down to the wire as well. Maybe Washington again a good bet. What do you think? Hey, well, I'm actually going to go to Toronto in this one. Obviously, this is one of my uh, only losses on your guys' videos, but – I think Toronto bounces back in a big way at home. This is a, a do-or-die situation. They fall behind 2-0 and have to go back to Washington for two. This is nothing but trouble. I think Toronto really played a terrible, terrible basketball game in game one. This is still a very good team. I think they just missed a lot of shots, a lot of open shots. We did see the 15-point fourth-quarter comeback in which they pushed it to overtime. I think they stuttered a little bit in overtime and fatigue set in, but I think they'll be much more refreshed for this game. They did have the two days off. I think Toronto's the better basketball team. This is a huge, huge game. I think Washington accomplished what they wanted to accomplish by getting the split. Not saying they won't show up today, but I think you're going to see Toronto show up in a big, big win. So you're liking Toronto for a bounce back. Is, is that your official pick on this card, Troy? It is, Pete. This is going to be my official pick. I just think this Toronto team – Way too much implication right on this one. Again, I know Washington, this is a big, big game. They can put this series away with a win. But I think Toronto, in the end, at home, they'll get it done. They played a bad game once. They're going to bounce back. I like Toronto to get this game by at least eight points. They're going to cover this one. Okay, right now four and a half is uh, one of the widely available market numbers. And the third game is Dallas and Houston. I was thinking maybe this might be the game that you were going to uh, pick. You know, uh, you know, of course, Houston won game one. By, by 10 points, but, uh, you know, Houston shot 45 free throws, Dallas only 17. Houston made 18 more free throws than, uh, than Dallas did, and, you know, if that can even out a little bit, uh, Dallas might come back here in game two and, and play this one closer, maybe not to get the win, but six points, maybe a little bit of a big cushion for a matchup like this. What do you think about maybe playing Dallas plus six? You know, I have this one circled, Pete, and it would be a very, very strong lean. I do think Dallas will hold within that number. I think this is going to be a very, very good basketball game. But Houston's just a tough, tough team to go against, especially at home. 
Dallas has just been so inconsistent all year long, Pete. They're finally healthy, but, you know, they, they haven't got anything from Amari Stoudemire. Dirk Nowinski's really starting to age. Rajon Rondo and Mont Ellis just looked extremely inconsistent. You know, Taylor Parsons finally getting healthy, but is it a little bit too late? A lot of question marks for Dallas that would keep me away from them. Where Houston's just rolling, James Harden's playing great. Dwight Howard's looking a little bit better. In the end, I do think this will be a close game. I could see it decided by that three to six point margin. Yeah. Wouldn't even be shocked if Dallas came out and took a game, but in the end, it's a pass for me. Just way too many variables were handicapped in this one. All right, I just kind of see, I mean, Dallas actually slightly out-rebounded Houston. The shooting was about even, except for that discrepancy in free throws. And I'm just thinking, you know, if that evens out just a little bit for this game too, uh, I think we've got a game that goes down to the wire, right? I could see that, though, no, absolutely. I, I, there was a huge, huge margin at the free throw line, but you got to remember a lot of the guys are dribble dry from Houston. They draw a lot of fouls, where yeah. Dallas has a lot of guys that sit out on the arc, shoot a lot of threes. They don't necessarily get the ball to the basket. Uh, but in the end, you know, this is a tough game, Pete. It's an, obviously the in-state rival factor, two teams that necessarily don't like each other. I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be a close basketball game, so I think you're on to something, but I just think Dallas is way too many question marks on the way that they're playing right now. Excellent points. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Really on the ball right now in the playoffs, and he's giving us just one pick for tonight. Officially, Toronto minus four and a half. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. And, uh, you know, for anyone who's ready to sign up with you, tell us what AllPlaysWin.com is all about. Yeah, thanks, Steve. We are absolutely on fire. Four straight winning days. Our hockey is on a roll right now. We've got the Anaheim Ducks. was a huge play for us. They're a 3-0 in the series. Cubs been pretty, but they're, they're doing it big. That was a huge play for us. Come take a look. Off to a hell of a start in the NBA, 6-2. and two. Come take a look. Allplayswin.com. We know baseball is going strong as well, Pete. It's been a great time. Really excited. Come take a look. Free play on us. We'll give you a take care in the best customer service in the industry. That's allplayswin.com, Pete. All right, Troy. Thanks so much.